finally got my hands on the ultimate dog creature action figure from the movie The Thing. This action figure is by NECA and the unboxing brought to you by the collector's review. This figure is looking amazing how it's sitting right now. Let's get into unboxing it and see it up closer. So make sure you stick around. Let's get to it. NECA has knocked out another amazing box to me. I do love this box right here. I know to some it might be simple, but I am loving the gloss on it. So in this episode of the Collector's View, we're getting up close with the ultimate dog creature action figure. And like I said, I love the dullness on the side. I love the shine and you can feel it. So there's a texture to it. Loving how the back is looking. Can't wait to unbox this action figure. It has so many accessories with it. So this might be a little bit of a longer episode. But I'm going to get you up close and in detail. And I want to take a close look at this action figure. And I also have the Ultimate McCready. I don't know if you guys checked out that unboxing. But I unboxed a few of those. And I'm going to have him up next to the dog. Let's open the package. Take a look at the inside. So you have the picture of the dog there. And then you have this with all the accessories. And like I said, this box is a huge box. And if you want a comparison into size, this is the size of the NECA. This is the ultimate, the last stand. So that's the size of box comparison. So it's a real big difference. And you do have a lot of room on the inside there, but it's layered going back. And this is looking detailed as, man, I'm, I'm already loving the gloss on it, the look on it. I wasn't really happy when I first seen this coming out. I mean, I was a little bit happy, but then I seen the price of $60 for this action figure. And I am a big NECA fan, big action figure fan. I have the thing action figures uh, and $60 is a big price. So we're about to see if it is worth the $60. Shoot it in the comments and tell me if you guys think it's worth it. Let's unbox it. And see, got it out the package and you see how it's layered there. So I'll take you through this real quick. You have the dog instruction manual, how to do this whole dog, because it's quite a bit of pieces. We have layer one, and it's all strapped in. We have layer two, and then the last layer being the dog. So let's get it out the package. Man, as you can see here, there are a lot of accessories before we get to showing it all together. There is a lot of pieces that this comes with, and you know when it comes with an instruction manual, you know there's a lot to do. So there's a lot of connecting parts, but it's looking amazing already. I'm loving the gloss on everything. So now, let's get up close and put these together. So part one is we have the dog. And then I know you detach the head. So let's see what the head detached looks like. Man, that took me way longer than I thought it was going to. I love how they look. It looks very slick. I love the look of them all around, but I will tell you this had to be one of the most frustrating toys that I have put together in so long. I had to heat up so many parts. Again, love the way it looks. This is the piece with the wire. The dog was very easy to do. I love the look of the dog, but even the dog, I had to heat up uh, the back of them in order to even get those pieces in. And just be careful when heating them up because you see the pieces on the back those will melt those are very thin if you heat them up too much so i guess put them in maybe a hot warm bath i would suggest on both of these uh, to get the pieces in tell me in the comments how it was for you guys you have the instructions but the instructions aren't the greatest the instructions just really point in what direction for the pieces to go and for me watch it looking at each one of them and trying to make sure they fit or try to get them to fit and then the piece falls out so getting up close with the dog first again love the detail in it love how it looks the spider legs 
everything about the dog is very slick I'm I am very happy with this one again it just was very horrible putting together trying to get these uh, to stay in and like I said just be careful with heating them up but I love the detail you can move the tail that how that sits on there I kind of don't like on his back if you see that line right there if you look very closely so that I'm not a big fan of let's see how it looks in the back and again that right there not a big fan of that look but overall very slick figure I wish it would have came with that would have been cool if it came with the head or I'm surprised none of the thing uh, action figures came with a head actually the human head except for I think the old uh, McFarlane but I'm loving the look of it I'm loving the gloss it comes with two tongues well three tongues if you include the other tongue on the other dog so let's get over to that one and let's look at the mutated one and here we have the mutated version of the dog and man like I said this one was the hard one to put together getting all those tentacles all to stick up I love the wire tentacle I love the detail in this figure just how everything looks it's all glossy there goes the other tongue that I was talking about tell me how it was setting this guy up for you guys was he easy to do for you easier than me and I just love this figure because it has something to show all around on the back side with the two legs how it looks right there I love the teeth on it coming out here goes the two legs that have articulation and you can close these so I'll go like this if you want so this figure I am loving even though I had my issues with it I love the way that it looks my issues were man like putting this together and heating up all the small parts trying to heat it all up so it can fit in there and stay in there but the tentacles are nice and then I'm about to show you guys what he looks like sitting next to McGrady and here they go next to the last stand McGrady and I love the size comparison looking very nice so let me pull them up close real quick and I'll stand them right next to each other see right here see how he's looking right there so that's him right up next to each other and again love the detail and love these guys all next to each other looking like an amazing man get some amazing pictures hope you guys like this episode tell me what you guys think about the thing ultimate dog creature action figure i'm loving the detail and like i said when you guys get your hands on a man please tell me shoot it in the comments tell me tell me how it was putting together man because i was very frustrated but this was a great episode of the collector's review so until next time make sure you guys keep a lookout we got more to come we out peace